Don't be that guy is a phrase you hear in high school, which means don't ruin the moment. In Parsha's Mishpatim, the Parsha ends with Matan Torah, and Akash Baruch Hu doesn't want to ruin that moment. Now that they view, they look at something they shouldn't see, Parakhaf Dalad, Pasuk Yud, and Rashi comments and says, even though they deserve to be punished at that moment, Hashem holds off not to ruin the moment. The only problem is, when does that moment happen? When does HaKadosh Baruch Hu punish them? By the Mishkan. Ask Rosh Schwab, if Hashem didn't want to ruin the moment of Matan Torah, why is he ruining the moment of the inauguration of the Mishkan, of the Avoda? Rosh Schwab answers something fundamental. When it comes to Avoda, the service of Hashem, there are good days and there are bad days, there are difficult times and times of sadness, and what we have to do is, is trudge through, push through those moments. But the giving of the Torah, Torah must be sweet. Torah has to come with happiness. To ruin the moment of Matan Torah and to mar it with the punishment and the death of another Nebiyo, that would be terrible. Something to keep in mind every single morning when we say Vaharevna, we ask Hashem to sweeten our Torah. Torah must be sweet. We have to daven each day and make those words and those brachos count.